Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. Hope you like it and enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. 1969 Somali was the bloodless takeover of Somalia's government on October 21, 1969 by far-left military officers of the Supreme Revolutionary Council led by Syed Bar. Somali troops supported by tanks under the command of Bar stormed Mogadishu and seized key government buildings and ordered the resignation of the country's leaders. The coup deposed President Sheikh Mukhtar Mohammed Hussein and Prime Minister Mohammed Eagle and led to the 21-year-long military rule by Bar and the imposition of an authoritarian government in Somalia until 1991. Arising out of the highly contested parliamentary elections of March 1969 and political tensions, the coup led to political repression and Somalia becoming a virtual Soviet satellite state until 1977 at which point it became an ally of the United States it was the first successful coup after two previous aborted attempts in Somali history since the country achieved independence nine years earlier in 1960. Somalia became independent in 1960, creating the Somali Republic from former Italian Somaliland and former British Somaliland. The first leaders of the new republic were President Aden Abdullah Osman Dar who served as head of state and Prime Minister Mohammed Eagle of the Somali Youth League. Because Somalia was composed of two recently unified territories, the country was divided in many aspects such as taxation, policing, legal systems, and administration however these differences were largely resolved in a 1961 referendum on a new constitution which saw more than 90% of voters approve the document. The constitution which merged Italian and British colonial institutions established a parliamentary democracy and was intended to create a single national identity. Despite the ratification of a new constitution, Somalia remained deeply divided among ethnic, political, and clan lines. In 1961, a rebellion by British-trained junior army officers in northern Somalia took place however it was quelled, resulting in one officer being killed. The country's first legislative elections were held in 1964, and the Somali Youth League won 69 out of 123 seats in the National Assembly. The rest of the seats in the parliament were split between 11 parties. In 1967, Abdirashid Ali Shermark, the Italian-educated prime minister and member of the Somali Youth League SYL, was elected as president of Somalia in March 1969 Another legislative election was held with 64 parties in the running with the SYL being the only political party to have candidates in every election district. The number of political parties was typical of Somalia due to the wide array of differing clans and ethnic groups and the fact that the prerequisite to running was simply clan sponsorship or the support of 500 voters. The election was highly contentious and saw the Somali Youth League gain an even greater majority in the parliament. Allegations of electoral fraud and corruption were rampant and more than 25 people were killed in election-related violence A general perception grew among Somalis that the SYL was becoming increasingly authoritarian in its rule. This view was compounded by the newly formed government under Prime Minister Eagle largely ignoring allegations of fraud and corruption. This sweeping unrest and dissatisfaction created an unhealthy political situation in the country that paved the way for the October coup by Syed Bar and other officers. Major General Syed Bar, a former Italian colonial police officer and member of the Dared clan, was the commander of the Somali army and an ardent Marxist and nationalist. He emerged as the leader of the Supreme Revolutionary Council, a group of Somali military and police officers ranging in rank from major general to captain. On October 15, 1969, President Abdi Rashid Ali Sharmark, only Somalia's second president of the post-colonial era, was shot dead by his bodyguard using an automatic rifle as he stepped out of a car in the northern city of Las Enad. He was succeeded by interim president Sheikh Mukhtar Mohammed Hussein. The coup was set in motion the day after Sharmark's funeral. The coup d'état took place during the early morning hours of October 21, 1969. Troops of the Somali National Armed Forces supported by tanks and commanded by various members of the Supreme Revolutionary Council sealed off several strategic sites in Mogadishu, including the Parliament Building, Information Ministry, Radio Mogadishu, Police Headquarters, and the Mansion of Prime Minister Eagle. Major government officials were abducted and imprisoned. 
Several former senior Somali politicians were rounded up during the coup as well, among them former President Aden Atta and former Prime Minister Abdurizak Haji Hussein. Both were placed in detention and were not released until 1973. Prime Minister Eagle II was imprisoned but in solitary confinement. Despite the seizure of police buildings in the coup, the police did not resist the military and even cooperated with them. Jama Ali Korshel, the head of the Somali police force, was appointed vice chairman of the Supreme Revolutionary Council. After Kupist forces seized Radio Mogadishu, the station began broadcasting martial music as a way of conveying the motives of the coup leaders, including the song Either Doomsday Death or Victory of Life, which invoked images of several wild animals such as lions and horses. In his first speech on the radio during the coup, Barr condemned the corruption of the old regime and disparaged the oppression of the educated. He also explained that although the government he had overthrown was inept and corrupt not all of its members were criminals, perhaps acknowledging that he had been a part of the very system he had just overthrown Barr's Supreme Revolutionary Council dissolved the parliament and the Supreme Court and suspended the constitution. In 1970, one year after the coup, Syed Bar declared Somalia to be a socialist state and set upon the Somalization of the country, essentially a grand scheme to diminish clan loyalties and create a dutiful Somali country. Thanks for watching please subscribe my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more history.